Welcome back everyone, Kamakala here. This is The Witcher, and um, I'm running it on my new upgrade PC. A upgrade motherboard processor. And because of that, I've had to reformat. Um, I still have my save game and everything, so I'm where I left off. But uh, some of the audio settings may be slightly off from what they were. Um, so either my voice or some of the background stuff may be a little bit too quiet. But I'm going to go ahead and record this part if it needs to be adjusted. Uh, I'll see to that. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue on. Um, we're back in Vizima. We're getting ready to head into old Vizima. And I don't remember exactly what's going on. Um, I think we're supposed to see the king there. Okay, so we've got the Salamandra boss, Salamandra boss there. Um, I could have sworn there was something that was said about the uh, king being in here, and that's, uh, I think the king's name is Foltest, but I'm not sure. Anyway, here we are, old Vizima, first time I've been here. It's exciting, who knows what the heck's gonna happen. Gracious sire, this is madness. You should not expose yourself to such danger. Wait here and allow me to summon a stronger force. Nonsense, Velorad. This is my city, the capital of my kingdom. Damn it, I rule this land, and I refuse to creep around its corners. Gracious sire! Silence! You know you might as well wipe your ass with those intelligence reports. I want to see it with my own eyes. Humans attacking! Uh, protect the king! For freedom! Kill the blood! I'll hang you by your own guts, human! It's the Grand Master! We're saved! You return, sire. I trust you are not too late. Your kingdom is in need. You should know kings are never late, Jacques. Sire, flames engulf half the city, and the blood of your subjects fills the gutters. This is no time for word games. You must act. What do you propose? Allow me to command your army, and the freedom to do as I see fit. Never. Over my dead body. It was close this time. Next time, I might arrive too late to help. I've seen enough. Velorad, back to the castle. What is he doing here? He dropped in. He seems to have a talent for that. What shall I do with him? He'll come with us. I have a matter to discuss with him. Alright, it looks like brightness is a little down. Witcher of Rivia. Sire, I am honored. As I'm sure you surmised, I have not summoned you here out of whim. A serious matter weighs upon us. A curse binds my daughter. I want you to remove it. I have gathered all who might offer aid. Duet has been the princess's adjutant for the past half year. Velorad has known Ada since her childhood. And Triss Merigold is here for her extensive knowledge of magic and female intuition. Mm -hmm. Consult them and think upon this matter. We shall speak about it again soon. As you wish, your highness. In the meantime, equally urgent issues demand our attention. I'm listening, sire. Witcher, imagine returning home from an excursion against a monster, a Kikimor, for instance, only to discover your home a whorehouse. Your Highness. I'm not finished. Those you left in charge failed you. 
A traitor threatens to oust you from the home of your ancestors. Wouldn't you be angered? Would you not elect to shed more blood? Sire, your home also shelters the elves and dwarves you inherited from your ancestors. The fires and the slain are their doing, you cannot deny that. But in truth, I need peace in my kingdom now. Perhaps you should extend your serene benevolence to the non-humans, promise them safety and equal rights. Perhaps. We'll send Velorad to negotiate. His elven features may prevent them from shooting. But I jest. Restoring order requires more. I'm certain you're right, sire. I must attend to some urgent matters. Speak with these excellent minds. Gain their insight. And don't forget my daughter, Witcher. I'm counting on you. I won't forget. My servant will summon you when I have more time. I rule a land of idiots. Alright, so this is King Foltest. Or that was the guy who's walking away right now. Um, Princess Ada is his daughter. And the beginning clip at the very beginning of the game where yes. Geralt needed to cure uh, or lift the curse of Astriga. That was Princess Ada. And apparently the curse still lingers with her, and so we need to do something about that. So, we are supposed to talk to several people here. Let's, um, let's go ahead and start with Triss, because, well, we like her. Geralt, I was worried about you. I worried too. I'm proud of you. Heard how you fought for Alvin. Horrible things are happening in Vizima. True, but the king has placed me under his, um... Protection. Tell me, where's Alvin? Uh, Alvin vanished into thin air one day, despite the amulet I gave him. Vanished? That's awful. He might be anywhere in time and space. I had hoped the amulet would block those abilities. I hope he'll be all right. Triss, I've been thinking about us. Oh, Geralt. Should be a no-brainer here, um, though I think I might be going a little bit counter to the books, I'm not sure. I haven't read all of them yet. I love you. I want to be with you no matter what. Love is the sole thing of beauty in these rotten times. Geralt? I could change, take fewer risks. We'd find Alvin, live together. I'd build a house. A house? Nice dream. You could breed horses and sheep, I'd tend the garden, cook meals. We'd sell what we grew to buy copper pots, iron rakes. We'd age with dignity. Evenings you'd play bagpipes of your own making as a remedy for my gloom. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... Geralt, say something. I can't lose you. I'm here. These are trying times, we just need to survive. We can dream again when the madness passes. Triss, I... I love you too, Geralt. To the end of time. <laughs> wow. I didn't expect it to go quite that far. Though I am glad that she made light of it. I don't know why, but I am rather pleased. Okay, wow. I am pushing all the... Oh, that's why. I was pushing forward, but because I was on a curved surface, I was running side to side. Count, we need to talk. Witcher? Count. Sup? No titles, please. Let us bury past misunderstandings in the name of a greater cause. So be it. Geralt? Ba -ba -ba -wa. Don't you fear the king's anger, Duet? Wherever did you get that idea, Witcher? Foltest looked pretty pissed. He said something about bloodshed. Obviously, he spoke of the blood of traitors and non-humans. He might finally dispose of that failure Velerad. The king wants me to lift the curse that holds Ada. Not surprising. You succeeded once, though it nearly cost you your life. The Sliga's appearance possibly spells the end for Foltest. Many say he offended the gods. Remember how she first became a Sliga? Trying to think, I don't think it was mentioned in the books, or if it was, I forgot because um Remind me. Remind me. As a youth, Foltest had 
quite an appetite. Oh, yeah. So much so that he plowed his own sister. Their child died at birth, but then continued to grow in its coffin, only coming out to feed. Then you arrived and broke the spell, though apparently not completely. The Striga's reappearance proves the royal dynasty is cursed. The people are sensitive to such signs. No wonder Foltest wants you to kill the Striga. I thought I was supposed to lift the curse. You are to keep the Striga from becoming an eyesore. The chance of removing the curse is minimal. I've heard a rumor of an additional reward for killing the Striga. I'm not interested in rumors. You should be. It's your choice, Witcher. But give it some thought. Farewell. Well, so that... I, I'd forgotten about this. It was mentioned in the book. Um, though, I think it was mostly treated as like rumor and... Now... I'm really not sure what to think. Um... I think that definitely there is a chance that we could kill it. Or there may be a, a choice where we could actually try to lift the curse again, but going off memory again, which is already proven to be false. When Geralt lifted the curse the first time, he said that it may not be completely gone. And if it resurfaced, that she would need to be killed if the removing the curse didn't work the first time. I think that's what he said. Not sure. Um, but I have a feeling that killing her would give us what, a trophy. Um, we'd get like the Strigus head or something and then we could turn that in. Hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll need to get some more information. Let's talk to Velorad. Who's she? Yes. She's named it means there must be something interesting about her. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Velarad. I saw you uh, speaking with the king. I gather it was unpleasant. It could be worse. Geralt. Aren't you a bit afraid, Velarad? The king looked irate. At me? I'd watch what I say if I were you. Hmm. I've served Temeria all my life. If they condemn me, I'll hold my head high as I walk to the gallows. You gotta admire that. The guy, um, stands by what his decisions have been. And, uh, <laughs> for better or for worse, it's a good attitude to have. The king told me about Ada. Dreadful, you warned us it might return. Uh, can you break the spell a second time? We'll see. You seem to remember last time well. Certainly. You stayed from dusk till dawn in the old manor house where the Strigger had her sarcophagus. Kept half the city awake with the noise you made. We uh, went to the manor at dawn and saw the two of you lying on the floor by the sarcophagus in a pool of blood. You were barely breathing, but the princess was cured. With the traitor Ostrid dead, the king was overjoyed. Who was Ostrid? He cast the curse out of jealousy. He loved the king's sister. Hmm. Many victims this time round? I don't know. These days, the corpses lie thicker than flies on a pile of manure. Know where the Striga sleeps in daytime? No, but she's been seen in old Vizima. Uh, she may hunt there. Removing the princess's curse will be risky. True, but the king has ways of encouraging you to do it. What do you mean? You have non-human friends. Help Foltest, and he might reconsider his decree about cropping ears and beards to a prescribed size. Understood. Geralt. Farewell. So it seems like... If we want to side with Squirtel, we'd have to... Um, 
lift the curse. And I just, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Let's talk to her, see if she has anything to say. We shall star, a witcher in my native Beauclair in the Duchy of Toussaint. A witcher once spent an entire holiday feast dancing with a sorceress. Not I, my lady. I dance rather poorly. Hmm. Do all witchers have white hair? No, my lady. I am alone in that. Perhaps I am confused. Regardless, I do have a certain matter for you. How can I help? Très bien. Mon dieu. My three cousins recently fled the city due to some uh, unfortunate coincidences. Did they incur the king's disfavor? Of a sort. I wish to send them some coin to alleviate their situation. Understand? Perfectly. I'll act as messenger for an appropriate fee. Ah, parfait! My cousins Corbin, Bus, and Ramoreau sought refuge in the swamp, in the caves there. Please deliver 300 orens to each of them. As for my fee... My cousins will give you a receipt. Take these to Ovezima, to the captain of the mercenaries, my fiancé. He will reward you. Farewell. Is that so? Oh, good. I was going to say, I better not have to pay for this out of my pocket. Otherwise, that would be a rather disappointing. Idea. Okay. What else can we do? Um, Is that so? We've talked to everyone in here. She sleeps in daytime. Promised Zoltan I'd help. Deliver money, okay. Old Vizima will... That will be a while later. Let's go see if we can talk to the king. I doubt it, but we can try. Our merciful master won't permit you entrance. He'll send for you. I see. Alright, well, no. I, I didn't want to run that way. Ruffy. That answers that question, though. Um, how the heck do we get out of here? Have I not talked to everyone? Ruffy. Geralt. Oh, okay. What do you think happened to Alvin? Frankly, I never guessed he'd bypass the Dimeridium. That would be a feat for many sorcerers. Mm-hmm. Clearly, he has enough power to teleport himself anywhere, perhaps even through time. What do you think about the situation with Ada? She's a Striga, Geralt. We both know that curses don't cast themselves. Any theories? Years ago, when you first removed the curse, you ordered the princess to wear a necklace with an inclusion. Juniper, broom, and hazel branches were to be burned in her chambers. Don't tell me. Someone replaced the necklace and added crap to the fire. Yes. Someone close to her who knew the secret. Velared might know something. So you think I should aid the king? Definitely. In a sense, I'm a political prisoner. I could teleport away, but that would be highly inappropriate, and I still have a few matters to settle here. What might those be? Don't concern yourself. I know you're busy with Yavin and his elven friends. Triss, don't be that way. You made your choice, Geralt. I've got to go. Oh, apparently Triss doesn't, uh... Our merciful master will see you now, sir. Go upstairs to his chambers. I'll go immediately. Okay, Velorad's gone, I guess. No, he's up here. Let's try talking to him one last time, and then we'll head upstairs. Geralt. Yep. Farewell. I was afraid of that. Sorry, Triss. Yes. Huh. 
can't see anything down there. Oh, hold on. I can't pull it out. Yes. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna go through your wardrobe. See if there's anything of interest in this desk as well. I rule a land of idiots. Yes, you do. Witcher. Your Highness. No need for titles. Speak freely. You've had time to think. What's the prognosis on removing the curse from my daughter? It's possible. Could the curse have returned by itself? Unlikely. Someone must have cast it again. Should you succeed, would... Would Ada's mind be that of a child? I don't believe so. She'd likely recall all that occurred before her transformation. You don't believe so? You're not making this any easier, Geralt. Do what you can to remove the curse. Failing that, you may slay her without fear of retribution from me. When I last gave you my trust, you did not disappoint me. Thank you, sire. Don't thank me yet. Should you learn who cast the curse, tell me and only me. If you succeed, I'll grant your every wish, within reason, of course. If you must slay her, do it quickly, cleanly. If you fail, and my daughter suffers, those dear to you will suffer too. I understand, sire. Good. Sire, another disease consumes your kingdom. What would that be, Witcher? I have been investigating an organization known as Salamandra. My daughter dealt with them, stupid girl. I regret I ever departed. To your credit, Venerad said you thinned their ranks considerably. I trust you shall finish the matter. Exactly my aim. One last matter, Witcher. Forgive me, but I had you followed. I received a report about your personal life. Your Highness? You must know that I hardly did this out of lewd curiosity. My spies report that you are romancing Merigold. I need to know if there is anything more to it. Why does he need to know? Um, well... Triss and I, we're close. That's no one's business but ours. No need to be rude, Witcher. I too loved Adder's mother. They forbade me from marrying her. But I hope you fare better. At least as a mutant, you need not worry about pregnancy. If you desire to go to Vizima, talk to my Chamberlain. I shall be away from the castle for some time. See Velorad about any other needs. So I shall. Farewell, sire. Okay, so this is kind of yes. crazy. The only way out of here is to talk to... Let's go try talking to Triss. I doubt she has anything more to say. Geralt. I've got to go. How about you, Belred? Geralt. Farewell. All right. Well, I'm not even going to try it. I have a theory. Now, I may be completely wrong. Or by some lucky guess, I may be right. I have a feeling that DeWitt's in on it. Um, I think that he may have had a hand the king won't be pleased. in what's going on. Yes. You know, just to be on the safe side, let's go ahead and rest until morning. Uh, but first we'll go ahead and level up. Uh, so we've got a gold... Requires four strength. Okay. Um, what else do we have that we could get? We got all that. 
could increase our damage with our steel weapons. Oh, no, we're out. And one bronze. Can't remember where I was spending the bronze points. Let's just go ahead and spend it there. We'll go till dawn, and that should be good enough. What do we have as far as potions? We've got 14 white gold. I'm almost out of inventory space. Got some wolf. Do I have wolf with albedo? I do. I have two of those. All right. I don't think I'm going to make any potions. I'm just going to go ahead and sleep. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh. Kind of odd that it would put me over here in the corner. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of these stairs blocking our path. All right, bud. Yes. I'd like to return to Vizima. Are you ready, sir? No, I just told you that. But I am. Not good. Zoltan's down here. Yeah, I figured as much. Glad you're here. I thought I'd have to run through the city on my own. I spoke with Foltest. I'm supposed to break Ada's curse. She's hunting in the city. What you intend to do? I have no idea where the Striga might be. Let me help you. Maybe we'll happen on the princess's tracks. Great. We need to gather two groups of refugees nearby. Then we'll break through to Shani's hospital. Ready? Ready. As ready as I'll ever be. I accidentally managed to get two attacks off of Igni, and that kind of surprised me a little bit. Man, I really need somewhere to sell some stuff. Have I gotten all these? I believe so. Nothing but rubbish. Let's uh, go ahead and track track this quest. I'll make it a little bit easier. So I think if we just kind of circle around this way we might... Damn, what a freak! Kill the lackeys! At them! Alright, I'm not sure how to get around that. Nothing but... Weird. What a dump. These streets aren't making a whole lot of sense. All right. Bear with me as I try to search for a way around. I guess this way is the way that we're being funneled.
Time to die. Well, that was weird. Time to die. You or me? Damn. Death awaits. Well. <laughs> Raspberry juice. Useless. What was that? I hardly smell the stench anymore. Leprosy rots my flesh. Step away. I'll I'm sick. Here. Oh, nice. Sir, help someone who suffered due to war. Um. Sure. It's not that much. Thank you. I'll share what I know about Garkanes. Oh, lovely. Right. Thank you. Oh, apparently I already knew about Garkanes. Oh well. Grant me a favor. Oh, smash some scoundrels from the orc. All right, so we just need to continue going forward. Perhaps this way? Okay, Zoltan's over here. But I'm on the wrong side of the fence. Bear with me, I will figure this out. We've got another door down here. Damn it, they were supposed to be here! Maybe they're hiding somewhere. They better hurry. The knights will arrive any minute. Damn it! I hear a cursing dwarf. Impossible, damn it! Im fucking possible! Not you, Zoltan. Hurry! Stay close to me and this Witcher. We'll get one more group. Oh! I took you for one of those elven madmen. I'll die here. Have I a chance to recover? Alright. So we've got several members of the order over here. Oh. Come on, guys. Is that good? Or do we need to go get another group? No team to lose! I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe... There we go. We're here! Punctuality is no strength of the Elder Races. Shush, Geralt. I'm going to imitate the roar of a polar tiger! Are we meeting zoologists? How would your friends ever recognize the roar of a polar tiger? When they hear an unlikely roar, they'll know it's me. Stunning logic. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Stop before you attract some she-tigers. Here they come. Stay close. We're headed for the hospital. Oh, where are you guys going?
can't get to him. There's just too many people around. We're right here. Out front of the hospital. Oh, there we go. Seriously, that's what I was supposed to do the entire time. It's just... <sighs> stupid, stupid. Oh, we made it. Now the wounded can receive proper care. I just remembered something. Know the legend of Witcher Raven and his armor? You know anyone who could create a suit of armor like that? Go to the Dwarven blacksmith. He's hiding somewhere in Old Vizima. I'm sure he can help. Great. Welcome. You've set up a hospital. Clever. Do you have a minute? I have my hands full. Besides, I'm apparently not worthy of your trust. What are you talking about? Alvin. You made it perfectly clear who's worthy of a witcher's trust and who's not, who you'd sleep with on occasion, and who you'd entrust with a child. But... Enough. The wounded need my help. Oops. Master, are you a witcher? I am. What is it? Master Geralt, the she-beast is murdering people. What happened? The Strigger appeared by the tower. I was sent to get a Witcher. Already five soldiers have breathed their last. Help us! Which tower? The tallest in the district. The one the Scoyatel set ablaze. And that's where we're going to stop. Thank you all for watching. Tune to the next part. I'll see you then.